Hey, what's up? This is Bryce Avery of The Rocket Summer, and you are watching Ambi. Hey guys, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to interview with Bryce from The Rocket Summer. Hello. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for doing this. What's this? This is Elliot Sumner, oh, a fabulous nice. English artist who I absolutely yeah. love. Isn't she like Sting's daughter? daughter? Yeah. Yes, she cool. is. You know your cool. stuff. I know my stuff. <laughs> yeah. How are you enjoying your time in Toronto today? It's been busy. Yeah? I haven't stopped. We got here and we did like, went and played on a radio station or something. I don't know, we talked about, the guy was like, you look like a rock star. I was like, I feel like I look kind of like the dude from Nickelback. But <laughs> that's not, I mean, but I said, hey, anything beats David Spade, so. Do you get David Spade a lot? I mean, once in a while. Yeah? Yeah, once in a while. What's your favorite comparison that you've got? Um, probably like my a mix between my mother and my father. Okay. That's that's a good, that's a good one. Change. That yeah. one hits home, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're now taking your latest record, Zoetic, across North America. Are you having fun on the road? I love seeing the photographs and little videos you're posting. Yeah, it's been so much fun. Like, I can't even put into words just how life-giving this whole tour has been. I mean, just seeing fans every night, just playing songs new and old. Just celebrating this community that we have is just, can't really ask for anything more. Only thing I can always ask for is maybe a little bit more rest. <laughs> but, you know, that's what we do. We were doing these meet and greets with fans. You mm -hmm. always take the time to speak with them after shows. And I love seeing the photographs where you're literally right in their face. Like, you get into the pit, you yeah. sing with people. Yeah. So since you're meeting and interacting with so many fans, what's been one of the more memorable encounters you've had? Oh, um, I mean, they're always really memorable. I mean, the stories that people share range from I mean they can be really fun and lighthearted to like really serious life changing stuff and um, I like to you know keep all that like confidential you know so I mean just hearing hearing all the the, the ways that music can change people or just bring people life in a dark time is always you know more than you could ask for so there's a lot of that well, you've mentioned how life on the road can be pretty hectic. Mm -hmm. If you could have had a day off in any city on this tour, which would you have loved to have just been able to explore and check out a little bit more? I'm not just saying it because I'm here. Toronto really is a beautiful place. I've always wanted to spend more than a day here, but it's always really hard because it's like we're always on tour. You've got to go through the border, and that takes forever, and, <laughs> you know, and so I'm always, I always love it, but um, it seems like a beautiful city, but I always judge the cities pretty much based on how they look inside of a club in the form of the people that show up. And Toronto has always been a really incredible place for us. So, uh, but yeah, so I'd have to say this place. I'm not just saying that. It's legit. <laughs> not just a little shout out to yeah, T-Dot? not a shout out. <laughs> I mean, kind of is, but. <laughs> just going back to the record for a moment, I know that you took a lot of inspiration from nature on this album. How did that initially come about? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think I, I went over to the West Coast to make a record. I like to get out of town. I'm from Texas and I just wanted to get out of town and something about being near the ocean and going on hikes and stuff. Uh, it's just really inspiring and there's a lot of that out there. So I think there, there are some, you know, uh, in some of the songs I sing a lot more about like water and the ocean and stuff. I think it's just because I was around it so much. <laughs> it was in my mind when I was writing. And were you writing these things as you saw them? Like, did you write a lot of the album outside, or was it more so plucking ideas as you no, were walking around? No, I was plucking around? ideas. I mean, I spent most of my time in a cave, <laughs> and so I, I was pretty wildly reclusive while I was making the Zoetic, and um, so my, my moments of breaking were just going out and seeing how beautiful it was. Oh, cool. Back into the cave. <laughs> so. Well, the cave being, I guess, your studio, studio yeah, right? Yeah, in studio. your apartment yeah, in Los house. Angeles. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you were to kind of take your fans and our viewers into the studio, what does it look like? Do you have anything cool hanging on the walls? Take us into your little it's sanctuary. Pretty, it's, it, it's not, it, it's, it's amazing what you can do. I mean, it's a lot of gear. It's a room almost the size of one of these Tile. squares. <laughs> it's really small, maybe two or three of them. And, uh, one, there's a wall, and on the other side of the wall, I sleep in that room, and then my commute to work is like a few steps, <laughs> um, and there's just instruments strewn around the whole house, so yeah, there's a lot of music. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> it's too much music. I really am kind of like ridiculous, like I don't, I wish I had more, uh, 
I don't know. I don't. I I, I just do music. That's like yeah. it's crazy. I don't. That's all you need. Have, that's, I don't really have too much else. <laughs> well, you yeah. engineered. You produced. You actually played every single instrument on the album. Do you ever find it hard wearing all those different hats? You kind of just used to it by now. Yeah, I'm pretty used to it. I don't know. I just I'm I'm always super fascinated by things I can learn in music, and so I think that's I've always been like that, and so I think that's how somehow I've ended up where I'm at. Like. So I was trying to learn, so, yeah. When you do have some downtime outside of the performances and music, mm -hmm. what do you enjoy doing? Oh, man. I like to go to movies. I okay. really do. I saw Batman vs. Superman the other day. Was How okay. was it? I've heard so many mixed reviews. You know, it was all right. I can't... I'm not, like, an enthusiast, and so I can't really say, oh, all these specific things. So I was more of just, like, a standard, average Joe moviegoer. Is that right? Is have that you right? have you seen that thing going around the internet? The so sad Ben Affleck clip? No, I haven't you, you seen gotta it. Sh maybe I'll show it to you after. I did see the Step Brothers one though, where it's like, um, where it's like, I'm kind of spo it's a spoiler alert. Spoiler. But at, at one point, um, when Batman and Superman are about to just it's about to be done. Batman's about to kill Superman. Hi. <laughs> um, Batman's about to kill Superman, and. And he's basically like, my our mothers have the same name, and then all of a sudden they're best friends. And so there's this <laughs> meme of that, and then it shows Step Brothers, you know, Will Ferrell and uh, what's the dude's name? The other dude, Who else Step was Brothers. In the movie? Yeah. I'm blanking. Um, oh my god. I can see his face John clear. John C. Riley is that his name? Yeah. Will Ferrell and was it John, John C. Riley? Riley. Yeah. So it's just so funny. It's like I'm about to kill you. We have the same. Our mothers have the same name. Really? <laughs> so I mean we're best friends now? Yep. I like how they took it that direction yeah. though, because there's so many clips and stepbrothers that you could have taken. Yeah. Whether they're like fighting each other on the lawn or first the very popular TV and the drum kit scene, so yeah. <laughs> good they oh took it gosh. that way. Yeah. So good. <laughs> well as of right now, I was curious, what is your mobile ringtone? My, oh gosh. I don't have like a song of that. It's just something in the Apple app, but I think I like to, have, but my alarm is kind of like a, I'm trying to make it like a soothing thing because I hate waking up. I mean, I love to live life, but I hate waking up. <laughs> I have a hard time going to sleep because I want to be awake, but then as soon as I'm asleep, it's, oh, it's, it's on. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Let's so. do, wrap things up today, kind of bringing it back to your fans. Anything yeah. you want to say to all of them who are going to be viewing? Oh my gosh. Well, hi. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Um, I love you guys. <laughs> oh gosh, I really appreciate you. Um, you already know we're best friends, so uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and a massive thanks to you for massive doing this today. To you. It is my pleasure. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time. See ya. Thank you.